Okay, so let's move on and talk about strings. So let me close numbers and we need to open now um, strings PHP. And here we have the, the plan of what we're going to do. So let's create really simple, uh, really simple string. Like for example, hello string. And I'm going to write uh, hello the code holic. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. But in this case, I'm going to write in the single quarters. Okay. So this is in double quarters. This is in single quarters. And PHP supports both. Let's call it hello too hello too okay and let's print just both hellos echo hello and let's append the br i will always append the br to show them on a new line hello too and in the in the browser we say uh, we see the same thing okay now if i want to take this the code holic into a separate variable called name okay i'm going to put this inside the name and i want to use the same name like twice so first way to do this is to concatenate uh, hello into name and we can do the same thing and I will see basically the same output right okay but when we write things in double quarters we have possibility to take the variable and write inside the string okay however if I write this variable inside the single quarter string that won't be evaluated let's have a look so this one writes the code holic. So it evaluates the variable when it's written in the double quarters and prints the value. This one simply doesn't evaluate the name variable and prints dollar sign and the name. So that's really important to know. Okay, so let's let me show you. Um, we, we know how to concatenate strings. We have seen this. Uh, so let me write hello uh, and concatenate it with world. Okay. Uh, all right let's put beer right here and this is hello world we can concatenate strings as many times as we want like we can print here um, and PHP like and PHP okay and we can concatenate strings with double quotas and single quotas we can mix them if we want uh, that's that's absolutely fine we can also like put this dot operator uh, for concatenating strings into a new line and we can do just like this that's absolutely fine and that's okay okay let's move on and talk about string variables i'm going to comment this and talk about the string variables i'm going to copy the code and put it right here and uh let's, let's start step by step Okay. I'm going to comment all other functions and just leave this. So uh, I'm printing here string, the uh, like identifier to easily connect the code and the browser's output. And I'm using here the uh, function working with strings. Okay. strlang. That simply calculates the length of the string. Okay. That trims the string and removes the white spaces. Okay. Uh, from both sides, from the left and from the right. That one trims and removes white spaces from the left side. However, this one, our trim, removes white spaces from the right side. And let's have a look. So the first one returns 28, which is the length of the following string. Okay, it's 28 characters, and here it is also written. PHP, PHP Storm writes this. Okay, uh, right here. Um, so the trim removes the white spaces and the, that one also removed the white spaces from the left that one removed the white spaces from the right side but they are displayed in the same way that's because php actually not php but html doesn't care white spaces so it treats all white space as a single one if you want to make sure that this actually trims we need to see it in the page source and here it is so we don't see any white spaces right here we see white spaces on the right side because we removed right here white spaces from the left and here we see white spaces on the left side okay let's continue and show other functions like str word, word count that simply counts how many words we have in the string that one reverses the string str to upper converts all characters into uppercase str to lower converts all characters into lowercase we have uc first this one converts 
the first letter of given number into uppercase. LC first converts the first letter into lowercase. We have UC words, which converts a uh, first letter of every word into uppercase. Okay, that's enough here and have a look in the browser. We see right here too, and that's the str word count. We have the reverse version of hello world. We have str to upper, we have str to lower, we have right here uc first which converted this h into uppercase, we have lc first, and we have here hello world which converted the h and the w into uppercase. Okay, let's continue and see str pause. That one searches the given string the world inside the string variable. And right now, right here, it prints nothing. That's because there is no lowercase world in this in this string. Okay? This world is lowercase, this one is uppercase. Okay? So if I write here uppercase w, then this one finds the place and returns the position of this world in the given string. However, if I have lowercase world and I still want to search it inside the string, I need to use STRI pose, which the I basically stands for the ignore case. Okay, and that will find that world and simply print the 10. Okay, and here we have a substring which takes the substring uh, value from position 8 and till the end basically, and that returns this whole world. Uh, and we can pass here like a 3. Which returns, which will take only three three characters, and this this that is okay. We have str str replace, which returns, uh, which simply searches for the world in the given string and replaces it with PHP. And instead of hello world, uh, we will see hello PHP. And we have also um, stri replace, which basically ignores the case. So here we have uppercase W and that's why it worked, but uh, if it would be like lowercase W, it simply would not replace anything inside the string and would return like as it is written, hello world. But here, as we have like lowercase world and we have I replace, it searches that world uh, and replaces it with PHP, okay? Okay, let's go and talk uh, about multi-line text and line breaks, okay? I'm gonna, um, uh, no, before that, I'm gonna show you one really interesting thing also, okay? So, um, let's imagine that I have like a um, number one, which will be 100, and I have number two, which will be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's imagine that they are invoice numbers and I want to format them that they have the same length. And if necessary, I want to like write zeros in front of them to like fill uh, with the same length. Okay, so I want to write this zero 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 hundred, and this one will be zero zero one two three four five six. Okay, in order they to have the same same length. For this, I need to use uh, str pad. Okay, it accepts the number. Okay, it accepts the uh, length I want the string to to make. Okay, I want to make every the, this number this number one to have the length of eight, and then we pass here uh, what padding string I want to use. I'm going to give it zero, and uh, I need also to give uh, whether I want to like add the zeros from the left, from the right, or from both sides. And for this, I use str pad. Uh, str pad php constants okay and here i see str pad left str pad both and str pad right okay and i'm going to use left i want to add zeros from the left side until it reaches the eight of length okay and let's put beer right here and right here this is the output and let's do the same thing for number two and this is the output okay that's really cool method to format numbers uh, in order to be like a user friendly okay and one uh, last but not the least function i want to show you is str repeat okay i'm going to give some string like world for example and i give the multiplier i want this number to be repeated okay and, and i'm going to give three right here with br and that's it so it repeated world three times okay that's that's all about the numbers okay let's let's comment this code and talk about 
multi-line PHP, uh, multi-line texts. Okay, so I'm going to copy the following code also right here. And that's, that's some long text and I have new lines. Hello, my name is Ura, I'm 27, I love my daughter. Okay, and I print that long text and let's put also B right here. And in the browser, I see that on a single line. Okay, if I enlarge it, I see it on a single line. Uh, because, as I said, PH, the HTML doesn't care white spaces. If we view the page source, we see that it is written as we have in the code, but HTML doesn't care white spaces, so that's, that's it how it is. Okay, if I want uh, to show that string as I have in the code, I need to use nl2br function. So that stands for new line to break. And that will simply convert all new lines into PHP's beer tag, and that will display exactly as I want. And that's it. Okay? That's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's make things a little bit more complex. And let's imagine, let me copy the whole thing also, and explain all of them. So now, let's, let's comment this code for now. And let's comment the upper code also for now. Okay, so here I have long text, the same text basically, just I have put Zura and 27 in B text. Okay, and if I display right now this, uh, let's, let's print it. Okay, if I display right now, I see it uh, as I expect, so I see that uh, uh, bold uh, Zura and 27, but I see them on, on a um, uh, on a single line because simply I don't use this nl to beer function to convert the new lines into into line breaks. Okay, so if I use that nl to br function, okay, so I'm going to use that nl to br function, and this is now how it looks like. So I, I see Zura and twenty seven into bold, uh, and I see exactly as uh, as I want. So I see on a uh, on a new line. But now imagine that I want to display that B as I have in the code, not in the bold, but I want to see B tags right here as an output. Okay, for this, I have function HTML and TTs, which converts these less than and greater than symbols into their corresponding HTML and TTs. That's why I said that HTML is prerequisite of this course that you need to know what is HTML um, entities. Okay, so let's save this and have a look. And this is how I see right now. I see that less than and greater than symbols, but I see them on a single line. And I want to see them um, as I have in the code. That's another thing. But if we view the page source, I see right here that the less than is converted into this. Uh, greater than is converted into this and so on okay so and if I want to display this code exactly as I have I need to first call HTML entities to convert this one into entities and then I need to call nl to br to create line breaks right here in these places okay I save this and that's exactly I have the thing in my code okay so that is cool uh, there is, um, if we convert like uh, these less than and greater than symbols into entities, obviously we need a way to convert it back, right? So for this we have HTML entity decode, which uh, simply converts that that symbols uh, into into greater than and that one into less than. Okay, so if I uh, run first HTML entities and then I will run HTML entity decode, that will create the, that will be the same as just printing the long text. Okay, I'm like a converting uh, back and forth, the, just like this. And this, this will be the output and that output is the same one as we have like uh, the first one. Okay, and we have another function HTML special chars, which works in the same way as HTML entities. Okay, that converts that one into uh, entities. Okay, so now let me copy this uh, and show you how many string functions exist in PHP. There exist much more string functions than numbers. And again, don't try to remember them, but I strongly recommend to check it out. Just have a look at what functions exist. There are a lot of useful functions, a lot of ones which may need you, and you need to have at least uh, look at it 
just to have an idea and then later again as i said when you want it you will remember them i will put this link in the video description also and that's all about strings let's move on and talk about arrays